Hello and greetings YouTube viewers. I decided to take a bicycle ride one day on the Great Allegheny Passage on a beautiful day in July. The footage you were watching was taped on July 9th, 2019. What you were looking at is the Keystone Viaduct, which was part of the Western Maryland Railroad. Also, you can see it passes over the current CSX Railroad. Some uh, windmills are also visible in the video. Just a small sampling of our many windmill farms in Somerset County, Pennsylvania. The Keystone Viaduct was constructed in 1911. I feel the most amazing thing, it is built on a curve. Earlier, I will include a link, and be sure to check out all my other videos. I taped the Salisbury Viaduct, which is located five miles west of this viaduct. Although the Salisbury Viaduct is longer, 1,908 feet, compared to 909 feet for the Keystone Viaduct, the curb and surrounding scenery I just personally like better. Maybe you can feel free to watch both videos and let comments on your opinion on that. I am looking forward to doing more footage flying my drone in the fall when the leaves turn and the colors are at their peak. Hopefully we get some nice weather with nice clear skies, but time will tell on that. And perhaps even some footage with snow on the ground. But I will be walking instead of riding my bicycle. I know as a youth, I was a goofy kid. I tried riding a bicycle in the snow. It didn't really get me anywhere. I fell about three, four times. Till I finally cried uncle and gave up. Yeah, I've really, like I say, over the years, did a lot of riding as a youth till I got my driver's license when I turned 16. And then... Cars took over until they opened this Allegheny Passage in the late 90s. Well, besides cars taking over, it was getting to the point people were driving crazier, more traffic on the road. I didn't have trust riding along the roads anymore, and that's not anything I really enjoy with this passage. It's a nice, safe place to ride your bike. Great scenery and all the above. As for flying drone... Now that's something I didn't become interested in until around three years ago. And it's an interesting story how I even became interested. Another hobby of mine is ham radio or amateur radio, whatever you want to call it. And there was a, what they call a ham fest in the hobby. If you understand the hobby, what a ham, you know what it is, but to those that aren't into the hobby, a ham fest is... The equivalents to like in the automotive world of swap meet or flea market. People come bring their items to sell. And anyhow, at the end, they were giving prizes away for different things. And there was an award for the youngest ham in attendance, which I cannot believe to this day. I was at 42 years of age, sort of a little bit scary on the hobby but on the good news on that not to change the story here but i will quickly the next year a 10 year old won the prize that had just passed his test so but anyhow that first drone got me interested in flying it lasted me a couple months and then it took and like i say too many crashes and then i sort of gave it up for a year or so but I bought another one, and the rest is sort of history. I've become really hooked on it. Well, I think where I became more hooked, the first one I won, didn't have a camera. And again, I sort of got, after two months, broke it, didn't fly anymore. But when I started filming with them, it really rekindled my interest in it. Because it's just, even 100 feet up in the air, it's just amazing what you see compared to on the ground level. Which now leads, which this all goes into what I'm doing here. Another interest of mine is trains and railroads. I grew up listening to my dad talk about trains. He was fortunate enough to grow up in the 50s to encounter the last days of the steam and the early diesel. 
And to no surprise, as a youth, Heron has got me real interested in trains, real and also model railroading. Dad had a Lionel train set, which I still have and enjoy. Have a small layout set up. I add to it all the time. Still sort of a work in progress that never gets done. Although there's works in progress that never get done. <laughs> Gives you the reason to get up the next day and, well, do it again. If it get done... Well, what would you have to look forward to? Yeah, I figured this video was a good opportunity to tell you a little bit about myself, my interest, and what my channel is going to be about instead of just listening to some music or something dubbed into this. I hope you found this enjoyable. Yeah, I say on my channel you're going to find more drone photography, drone reviews, repair, model trains, layouts, working on trains, some trains I could say in motion there, show you my layout, remote control cars. I like tech gadgets, they interest me also. Some of the, the silly little ones, the bigger ones, everything in between. So, like I say, be patient. I'm hoping to post weekly, at least there. And like I say, enjoy making videos for YouTube. Again, I'm going to try to keep it interesting, post regularly, and please post any comments you have or questions in the comments below. I'd like to hear them, and also, please do subscribe, and the video is about over with here. There is some interesting as I'm coming across here. Somebody was brave enough and climbed up and put some graffiti. I think if I remember right, yep, a peace sign, and then as I'm coming down, which I'm not really sure what that does say, but yes, like I can say some brave souls took the time and, like I can say, climbed up and did gravity. Alrighty, thanks again for watching, and like I can say we're going to let this close, and hope you enjoyed this. Thank you again.